Hey guys. Back to make another soap today. I'm going to make Lemon Grove. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, so I think the plan is I'm going to mix up the batter, set off some green for the bottom. Then I'm gonna have, I'm gonna pour off a little bit for white. The base is going to be yellow. And I'm actually gonna do an in the pot swirl. I'm gonna pour the white into the yellow, kind of mix it up a little bit. Once I've poured the green base, then I'm going to pour the yellow and white on top of that and then decorate the top. And I'm actually gonna put a little bit of lemon peel powder in the yellow. All right. Let's get started.
Hey guys, we're back to cut lemon grove soap. This is the fourth, yeah, this is the fourth soap in the Fruits and Floral series or collection. So let's see how this one turned out. Try to hold this liner so it doesn't slam down on the counter again. Oops, looks really nice from the side. So in the yellow portion of it, I put lemon powder. And on the top, you have lemon peel granules. And it's a really strong lemon scent like my son says that the good old crunchy lemonade you know it's really really sugar down and concentrated that's what this smells like it smells heavenly if you like lemon if not i completely understand my husband is not too keen on lemon my daughter's a little standoffish when it comes to lemon but me and my son are like oh my god lemon everything so yeah All right. Actually, yeah, that's good. Let's set it this way. Yeah. A little clean up quick. Set that right there. All right, let's see what we got on the inside. I hope you can distinguish the swirls. I did the yellow base, the majority yellow, and I did a, an in the pot swirl with the white. But I think it was still a little too runny at that point. So I'm hoping the white and the yellow are separate and not too muddled together in here, but we shall see. All right, let's do this. Yeah. Oh my gosh. All right, let's see what we have on the inside. Dust off a little bit of the lemon peel. Cause I know some of it's gonna fall off anyway. Oh, these are so cute. All right, here you go. So this is Lemon Grove. Yeah, you can definitely see the white in there. Swirled with the yellow. Oh, this is gonna be a great soap. Oh, the smell. Do we have smell-o-vision, smell a phone? It smells amazing. Yeah, that's nice. Really shocked that you can see the white as good as you can. I mean, it's still faint, but it's there.
Well, this is the fourth soap that I'm cutting today. And I just got through making the fifth soap in the series, just right before this video. Which to you guys, it'll be a separate video, but. For me, it's all in one day. Yeah, that's nice. I like that. So, so far we have Blackberry Jam was the first one. Then there's Flower Shop. And then Mayfair Manor is the third one. And this is the fourth one, Lemon Grove. And I've already made the fifth soap. Haven't named it yet. Maybe you guys could tell me, comment on the video and tell me what you think a good name for it would be. It has, it's a gardenia scent, heavy on the fresh gardenia, but it does have notes of jasmine. And there's a few other notes in it as well. I'll put the scent profile in the description for, for that one, um, which actually by the time, by the time that video hits YouTube, I'll, already have named it but this one should go up before that one so you guys can comment on this video and we'll see we can't get the other one named it's a solid white soap I textured the top and right down the center on the top I put in some calendula petals just to give it a little pop of color. So with the gard gardenia and jasmine notes, <clears throat> solid white bar with yellow calendula petals. Maybe that'll help you guys and help me name that one. Let's see if we can get some good names for uh, fruits and florals theme collection. I'm actually not losing as many of uh, these lemon peel pieces as I thought I would. I thought it would be a lot more coming off the top, but it's actually not. I really like this, that I put the powder on the inside in that yellow batter. It just makes it just adds a little something extra to it to where it's not just plain yellow <clears throat> it looks really neat almost gives it that rustic vibe you know And got your little green down at the bottom, which I was going for a straight layer of green on the bottom. And when I went to pour the large portion of the batter, the yellow and white swirl, my spatula didn't quite break the fall on that. And it went down a lot further into the green batter than I wanted it to. But that is okay. I really just wanted the green as an accent there. I didn't want to do a solid yellow <clears throat> or yellow and white soap. I wanted to have a little bit of green in there for interest and contrast and or complement the yellow. And besides, in a lemon grove, you've got the trees, all the green foliage, and then you've got the yellow lemons, little blossoms. All right, that's it for the, uh, keep getting the arrangement mixed up. This is the fourth, fourth soap in the series. So you guys stay tuned. We will have the fifth soap making video come out. And like I said, hopefully by that time I will have it named. 
So if you guys wouldn't mind kind of helping me out with the description I've given you of what the fifth soap will be or how it will look <clears throat> and the scent profile. Maybe you guys can help me out with a name before it goes live in a couple of days. All right, guys.